Hello YouTube, this is Matt. This is quite literally a picture of me. That was done at Chuck E. Cheese's when I worked there. I had time off, I wasn't on duty at the time. And so I decided to test the art machine. Uh, you can see by the date, roughly when that was done, 2004. About, I would say, yeah, November 8th. So this is October the 3rd, 2017. You do the math. So this being October, uh, you're going to see a lot of discussion about masks soon or people wearing masks. I mean, yeah. So I figured we'd do a vlog about masks because the idea of a mask is that that's me at Christmas, by the way, a Christmas elf. This is a little bit newer, 2006 probably. But yeah, the, the idea um, with masks is that do they really conceal who we are or do they reveal who we are? This young lady here captured at the Sterling Renaissance Festival some years ago. I'm wearing a mask, if you will, although it's not really a f mask, it's more than a character. Um, puppets can be considered a form of mask. Certainly Jim Henson and his other Muppeteers that worked with him had many masks or puppets. You know, did they reveal him or did they conceal him? Uh, certainly a Kermit represents a side of himself, as does Rolf, Dr. Teeth, and so on. Well, some of the things that I wonder about myself, am I really as smart as I like to think I am, or am I just a goofball? Am I the brave type person, or am I a scaredy cat? And I do like to go on adventures sometimes, but I'm I really that adventurous. I do love history. I am a unique creation of the Lord. So there you go. Sometimes I like to imagine myself as the hero of a fantasy story. For example, a hobbit. This is my version of Bilbo. Actually, I created this on a computer and then I asked for my friend uh, John McMaster to turn it into an oil painting, which he did pretty much verbatim. He's an awesome painter. Um, so, this is his rendering of my original computer design of Bilbo. Incidentally, you'll notice it's actually heavily based on a portrait of J.R.R. Tolkien himself. Yeah, sometimes I get so mummified in the whole idea of who am I that it can be a little bit strangling. So, what I'm wondering is that, since I'm not wearing a mask right now, who do you think I am? Not that it really matters. You probably barely know me or don't know me at all. But the real question is, who are you? Do people really know you beyond the mask? And I'll leave you with that one. So, uh, a little bit of further reading, by the way, I might suggest. Um, C.S. Lewis has a book called Till We Have Faces. Very good. Alrighty then. And as he says, further up and further in.